Hi, so in this video here, I'm going to go from the IUPAC name into the structural diagram. So we'll start off with a hydrocarbon. So let's do, let's do this one. So we've got three methyl hexine. So the first thing you wanna do is look at what is making up that backbone. So what is the number of carbons? So hex is telling you the, how long that carbon is. Y and E is telling you that there is a triple bond within that one. Because there's no number there, that triple bond will be on the first carbon. And remember, Y and E is that triple bond functional group. On that backbone, we have a three position that has a methyl attached. So that's a single carbon. So if I draw it out into the full structure, I've got hex, which is six. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So hex. And on the first one, I've got a triple bond. So it doesn't matter if I decide this is my first one or this one is my first one. You may see people do it either way. I'll just start from this side. And this is a triple bond that's occurring. So I've, I've taken into account the triple bond. I've got the carbon chain. And on carbon three, I've got my methyl. So this is carbon one two, three. So on this one here, I've got another carbon. Now it doesn't matter if I draw it up or down on that carbon, I'll just draw it down. Um, then we know carbon makes four bonds. So going to each of the carbons, assessing how many bonds they've got and make sure that it totals four. So looking at one, I've got three already. So it's going to have a single hydrogen, sorry, a single hydrogen as well. This one here, it's got three, four, so it's fine. One, two, three, so it's got another one. This one here's got one bond, so it's got another three going to hydrogen. This one here needs another two, another two to get up to four, and again, this one will need three. So it's really important when you're asked to draw the full structural diagram to include your hydrogens. Don't just do the carbon backbones. So this is the full structural. Now let's, while we've got it up here, go from the full structural into the line diagram. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. So one will be my first, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six carbons. So between one and two, I've got a triple bond. So that's how I would draw it. And then on carbon three, I've got the methyl. So one, two, three a line going down. So the line diagrams are really easy to draw. Okay, I don't have to go back and put all those hydrogens in. So as you move further down the chemistry path line, you will probably exclusively use line diagrams because of the ease of drawing them. So that would be the line diagram. So I'll wipe this out and we'll have a go at a functional group that's not a hydrocarbon. So with this example here, I've got three chloro, two methyl, pent and al. So firstly, unpacking the end, pent, that's telling you how long the chain is. So it's a five carbon chain. An is saying that it's all alkane, A-N, and al is telling you that there is an aldehyde on that chain. Aldehydes um, is the highest priority and that will be on carbon number one on carbon one. So if we draw this out, one, two, three, four, five. Again, doesn't matter which side carbon one is, I'll just choose this side, putting in that aldehyde functional group. And I've got single bonds between them all. So I've ticked off everything on that root name. So then now the substituents, so this is my carbon one. So on carbon three, I've got a chloro. So one, two, three, doesn't matter up or down. I'll just draw it down, I've got a chloro. And on carbon two, one, two, I've got a methyl. Again, doesn't matter if I'm up or down. I'll draw this one up because I will get a bit too close there. So a single carbon for a methyl. So then adding in my hydrogens, remember carbon needs to have four bonds to it. So carbon here's got one, two, three, four already. So that's good. This one here's got one, two, three. So adding in another one, this one here's only got one, so it's gonna require three more. This one here, one more. This one here, two more. And then three more on this final one. 
So that's the full structural diagram for 3 chloro, 2 methyl, pent, and al. Now let's draw the line diagram again while we've got it here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Aldehyde on your first one. Okay, so drawing in that, that hydrogen there is optional because it is implied if it's not drawn in there because remember that each carbon has four bonds, so I don't necessarily need to draw that in. So I've got one, two, I've got my methyl, which is again, is just a line. And then on the next one, I've got a chlorine. And then the rest is just the way it is. So that would be my line diagram. Again, optional hydrogen there. I tend to draw it in just so that it really clarifies it to the reader. Okay, so that is 3-chloro-2-methyl-pentanal. So thank you for watching this video and check out some of the other ones. Thank you.